So good uh, afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm happy to share this complication case uh, with you. My name is Ahmed al Sayed, and my case is entitled When Tally Backfires. So this was a regular 78 years old female patient who was diabetic and hypertensive with uh, moderate CKD with um, a euro score too, which is acceptable. She had a normal ECG. You can appreciate from the echo images that she's having a heavily calcified uh, aortic stenosis with a mean gradient of, um, of uh, 44 and um, mild aortic regurgitation. Um, according to the CT image, you can just uh, appreciate uh, how thick the leaflets are. We could uh, understand that she might be having aromatic etiology with this um, uh, ugly calcium uh, chunk between the, uh, at the commissure between the non and the uh, right uh, coronary cusps. So these were the implantation angles and the cusp overlap views. Uh, her access was uh, okay. Yet she had uh, low set coronaries, mainly the right coronary. In this case was less than eight millimeters. Uh, having um, um, low set coronaries and uh, yet white sinuses, we were happy to go for um, an accurate near two, um, small size in this case, according to the annular um, measurements. Uh, because of these happy, having these upper crowns which can keep the leaflets from encroaching on the coronary osseous. So this was our plan, go for a minimalistic approach, go for uh, under local anesthesia, go for uh, pre-dilatation, and then the accurate near to small size. Her coronary angiography was normal. Um, and then... Um, Sorry. So this was uh, the view, implantation view. You have to confirm this in the cath lab to make sure that you have a very good coplanar view. And safari wire plays in the ventricle, pre-dilatation step. Valve deployment, release of the upper commissures, anchoring arches, and Final release and final injection. Uh, everything is fine. You can see how uh, thick the leaflets are, um, yet they are still away from the coronary osseous. So, is it a successful TAVI or is it uh, just a TAVI that backfired us? Uh, one of our OCD fellows just mentioned that he wasn't satisfied with the left coronary filling. Uh, because we were doing the procedure under local anesthesia, I just asked the, the, the patient. Lady, do you have any chest pain? And I just noticed that she had um, disturbed conscious level. So uh, stroke code was activated. Having this platform with a very easy access to the coronary, I just wanted to go immediately, do coronary angiography, make sure that the coronaries are okay. And in cases where we suspect stroke on table, uh, this is why we do all our cases under local anesthesia. We, go, we don't depend on imaging modalities, we go immediately and do, go for cerebral angiography as well. And this is what we did. And I um, found that the LED was totally occluded. Um, I passed the wire, it failed to pass in the LED first, it passed in the diagonal, I had a balloon support, there was some resistance of pushing the wire inside the LED and finally I could uh, push the wire. And what I did is was pushing that uh, embolized calcium chunk distally in the LED, uh, and I successfully did, and I had a good coronary angiography, patent LED, and you can see that the very distal LED is still occluded, probably with the distally dislodged um, uh, calcium embolism. And now we went for cerebral angiography, the right cerebral and the left cerebral angiography was fine, and I went to image the right side, and you can see there is total occlusion of the common carotid artery, uh, or internal carotid artery, I mean. So uh, at that time, our neurointerventionist uh, joined us, and after uh, multiple um, trials with, um, with what we call, sorry, I guess this one, so, with a solitaire uh, retrieval uh, stent, we could finally have her uh, cerebral uh, circulation patent again. Uh, this is what we retrieved with the solitaire stent. When you uh, can hold it, it's very hard. These were calcium embolism. 
the patient had excellent hemodynamics, excellent valve function, and fortunately, very slow conscious level improvement, and she is still undergoing in hospital rehabilitation till the time being. Um, this is an extremely rare case of post cerebrocoronary embolism. Um, doing TAVI under local anesthesia is very important, so not even general anesthesia, not conscious sedation, is mandatory for early diagnosis and prompt management of such complications, and having an extended heart team with well-equipped um, um, tools are mandatory when you uh, deal with TAVI when it just backfires, and finally having an OCD team member is sometimes important. Thank you. Thank you.